Hi and welcome to my first video of 2021. The little mainline 03 has a special duty to perform. Let's watch and see what she's up to. As you can see she has three restaurant buffet coaches in tow. These are brand new from Hornby. I got catalogue numbers are 4971A, BR Western Region Mark 1 RB, number W1743, I've got R4972A, BR Southern Region, Mark 1 RB, S1757, these are both era 5, and finally R4973A, a Mark 1 RBR M1657, which is an era 7 uh, coach, dating from 1977 and very much the era when I became interested in the mainline railway and uh, began heading towards my career on it. The buffet coaches are a really useful addition to anyone modelling the period from 1960 to the 1990s and beyond into preservation. Let's take a really good close look at these three. Please ignore the little bit of foam that you can see, because the models are so free running I had to put it underneath them to stop them falling off the turntable. The restaurant coaches came about as there was a move within the travelling public away from the multi-course expensive set meals. Therefore these less formal vehicles were designed in 1957 and were immediately a great success. Now light snacks and drinks could be served as well as light meals. Propane was used for cooking, reducing the need for electrical power. 128 were built by Press Steel or Birmingham Carriage and Wagon Works between 1960 and 62. They lasted into the mid-90s in mainline service. A good number of the southern vehicles found themselves added to full rep stock. These coaches arrived later than the main Mark 1s, being built between 1960 and 62, but were refurbished in 1977 and were added into trains with more modern coaches such as the Mark IIs, as no new buffet coaches had been built. However, when the Mark III's came in, some of them did have facilities, and so the Mark I buffet cars found themselves transferred to secondary duties. Now a word about the bogies. The design is known as the Commonwealth type. The Commonwealth Bogey was manufactured under licence in the UK by English Steel Corporation, but the original design belonged to an American company called the Commonwealth Steel Company, hence the name. The Commonwealth Bogey saw the introduction of sealed roller bearings that did away with the need to keep oil box levels topped up. They also replaced leaf springs with new coiled ones that gave a far superior ride quality and a speed rating of 100 miles per hour. The models are really very nice. I was impressed to note that on the blue and grey RBR it has the vacuum brake cylinders replaced with air brake equipment. A really nice touch there Hornby, well done. In the box with the coach you also get a dummy buckeye to fit. I found it to be a nice push fit only needing a dab of glue to ensure it's in position. The only gripe, and it is only a small one, is that after many years of modelling brake blocks in line with the wheels, 
and we have chosen to go back to the 1970s idea of having the brake blocks on the outside edge of the bogey frame. Not at all lined up. However, given the various issues with dragging brakes etc, one wonders if this is the reason why they've moved away from it. Thank you.